moving on. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, the quality, the quality. I'm really hoping that what I'm seeing in the viewfinder is what you guys are seeing as well. I feel like whenever it comes to a new camera, there's so much trial and error. So bear with me while I play around with all the settings, but what do we think you guys will have to let me know in the comments this week marks my first week being fully self-employed doing content creation being a full-time influencer if you will even though i don't really like that word and i'm so excited i thought what better way to mark this milestone than with a new camera i've actually been wanting to get one for a while i got the sony zv e10 jenna hong here on youtube did like a full unboxing setup like a full video on it her quality and just like production in general is incredible and so she fully inspired me to get this and i'm obsessed i mean it's literally been 30 seconds but <laughs> already i can tell like the wide angle lens i got the 11 millimeter f 1.8 lens so wide like you can see everything i've been switching between my canon m50 which i still really love it's just i've had some problems with the audio recently a lot of like windy noise whether i use a microphone or not it's also quite heavy it's on the heavier side this one is i would say a similar size maybe a bit smaller um but it's a lot lighter i've been switching between the m50 and then my sony zv 1f recently which i also really like this is just a nice like grab and go easy camera to chuck in my bag perfect for traveling when i'm out and about the quality for the size of this thing like it really packs up I worked with Sony probably like a year ago now and this is the camera they sent me as part of that collaboration ever since I got this I'm like hmm maybe I'm a Sony girl now but anyway enough about the camera technology because I know not everyone is into that hello and welcome welcome back to my channel if you're not new here thank you so much for coming back I really appreciate it and if you are new hello and welcome to my little corner of the internet my name is Ella I am 27 and I live in Adelaide South Australia beautiful sunny Adelaide, South Australia. We have really been blessed with some beautiful sunshine recently, which just like warms my soul. It really does. I do a lot of lifestyle content, personal finance videos, lots of vlogs as well. So if any of that is your cup of tea, definitely subscribe. We are so close to 50,000 subscribers, which is crazy. And yeah, it's a fun time around here. Last week was my last week at my job. So we're in this like weird transition phase. Today is actually Tuesday. I meant to pick up my camera yesterday because it was like my first day out on my own doing my thing. And I just ended up having like a busy, busy day, um, which was so unexpected. It kind of got to Sunday night and I was thinking about the week ahead. I was like, am I gonna have enough to do throughout the week? Like, am I gonna get bored? Have I made the right decision? Was just like spiraling, honestly. And then I logged onto my computer yesterday morning and I was just go, go, go. I had a ton of editing to do for the weekly vlog. I still need to finish that actually. I basically didn't touch it at all last week because I just had such a hectic week. I did my what I spend in a week, doing all the calculations for that. I did a bit of a different format this week and I did it in photos just for something a bit different, which I really like. The feedback has been positive so far. So I did that. I had a couple of concepts that I had to send through to my manager for brand approval. I feel like this is the thing that no one talks about when it comes to full-time social media is like what actually goes on behind the scenes. I find that so interesting. I don't know if that's interesting to anyone else. Let me know. I guess it's no different to me talking about my other job that I used to work. Like you don't have to be a travel agent to be interested in what a travel agent does. But basically a brand will come to you with a brief key messaging, key things that they want you to include, the deliverables that they want, and then you will, nine times out of 10, will send through a concept for approval. It's basically like a draft, like a, it's literally a word document being like, this is my idea, here's how it will look, what it will sound like, what I'll say, like the key messaging. It's almost like writing a script, uh, it's I guess the best way of putting it. So I did two of those. I actually got some feedback back, so I need to edit one of those and send it back for approval. There's like a lot of back and forth when it comes to that kind of stuff before you can go ahead and actually start making the content. I guess it makes sense. Like this is something I never realized before I started really working with brands consistently was like the back and forth and the scripting and concept ideas. Why was that so important? But when you think about it, like the brand obviously has an agenda. I don't know if agenda is the right word, but they have an idea. They're paying you to fulfill that idea and like what they want. And so even though you have creative freedom and it's your content that you're putting out there and it's your platform like obviously there's key messaging that you need to hear and so having that back and forth and sending through concepts and ideas is a good way to kind of meet in the middle I guess you could say and make sure that you align before you start making the content because could you imagine if I spent like two hours filming something and then the brand was like oh actually that's not what we were after 
you know? So it's just like getting that clear idea. The brand knows what you're doing. So then when you send through the content for approval, they're not like taken aback by it because it's already pre-agreed. It also really helps, I find, from a creative standpoint to have an outline so I know what I'm making when it comes to that kind of stuff, rather than going in blindly and kind of thinking on the spot. Like I have a clear idea, a clear vision is the best way of putting it, rather than like a script. It's not really script, but yeah, just a little bit of behind the scenes for anyone that's interested. So I did two of those and then yeah, just lots of editing. We went grocery shopping last night. I filmed a grocery shop with me. Content, baby content. I'm just on the grind. This is my life now. It's so crazy. It actually does not feel real. It really doesn't. I just received a couple of packages so I thought I'd show you guys. This one's kind of boring. I've already opened it because we had a banana berry smoothie this morning. You guys know my banana berry smoothies are literally like cracked me. And we ran out of all of our protein. So I stocked up. I think this is one of my favorites. The My Protein brand. I use the chocolate brownie flavor and then just plain old vanilla. The chocolate brownie is especially good with mixed berries and bananas. It tastes like Almost like a cherry ride. It's so good. I did place an order at Cotton On. I have a trip coming up next week, which I'm so excited about. So naturally I was like, oh, I have nothing to wear. To be fair, I have really not bought anything this summer. I've been trying to re-wear pieces. I mean, this job I've literally had for seven years. Since I lived in Canada, it's starting to fall apart. Like we've got our, oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was so bad. We've got holes. It's not often that I'll buy clothes. I try and re-wear what I already own because I do have like a decent amount of clothing. Oh, here I am just showing my address willy nilly. First thing I got, this was only $20. They only had a 2XL left, so I'm not sure if this is gonna be too oversized. That doesn't it look that big, honestly. It's like a cute pinstriped beach cover up. The swing beach shirt. Originally 40 down to 20. I just thought this would be fun. We're going somewhere quite tropical, hot, just to chuck on over some bathers. And then the four other pieces I got are from the Haven line. You guys have probably seen me wear the green set with like the short sleeve button down shirt and then the long pants. They're like a wide leg fit. So nice. I bought them when we were in Sydney a few months ago and I have not stopped wearing them. They're just like so comfy, dress it up, dress it down, just like super versatile, really nice quality as well. And then I was on the website, I realized they have other colors. So I got the white set. I'm really hoping these are not too sheer. White scares me. But I got the wide leg white linen pants. White linen pants in general are just so good to have. I don't have to wear it as a set. Same with the top. So I got the short sleeve button down top. Just so nice, super versatile. As I said, dress it up, dress it down, unbutton it, button it all the way up, tuck it in, tuck it out. Like when I tell you I've worn that green set to death, an embarrassing amount. And then this looks almost black, but it's not. I'm not sure if we'll pick up on camera. Oh, there you go. So I got the shorts in the chocolate brown color with the short sleeve shirt, just for something a bit fun, a bit different. And that is it, that is my haul. I actually use some cash back that I had, like I cashed out, so this was, basically free. I think I cashed out like $300 collectively because I hadn't cashed out in ages. And this came to like 150 and I found a coupon. So go math, I basically made money. <laughs> Which if you're not using some form of cash back, cash rewards platform, please do. I always have my sign up links below because I always alternate between either cash rewards or shop back. I think if you sign up using my link, you get like a $5 bonus or something or like a dollar bonus, something like that. Don't quote me, um, but I always have them linked down below because I cannot recommend using cash back more. Like you literally get paid to shop, which I'm not a big shopper, but if I'm already going to make a purchase, like I wanna get something from it, like I may as well make my money go further, you know? I've also used it when booking things like flights even, which when you're forking out like four or $500 on return flights, like that adds up really fast with the cash back. I use it a lot over Christmas with Christmas presents, um, hotel accommodation, all of that, super, super good, so basically made money and now I'm excited. I'm gonna try this stuff on, get back in to some editing. I have my whole weekly vlog really to edit. I did like a rough cut of half the week yesterday, but I still have so much to do, so <laughs> wish me luck. Tonight I'm making my famous buttered halloumi curry which I haven't actually made in a long time. We ran out of tinfoil so having to make do with some baking paper. Hopefully it cooks the same. I'm just gonna chuck this in the oven. It's 
cook for a little bit, cook up some onion and heat up my buttered chicken without the chicken sauce. That weekly vlog took so much longer to edit than it probably should have. That's literally all I spent my day doing, but it's up. It actually just felt really nice to be able to do that and not have to worry about rushing home to quickly edit and get the video up after an eight hour work day. It actually felt nice to take my time with it. Nick has just gone to another cricket meeting. Surprise, surprise. It is almost seven o'clock. So I'm just cooking dinner. I'm going to, I was going to say I'm going to watch Love is Mind, but oh, hello, Missy Moo. Are you enjoying having me home all the time? Yeah. Oh, you're so heavy. Happy Thursday. I woke up this morning, which is good. That's a good start. <laughs> I woke up, got out of bed, immediately got ready and sat down and filmed my March reset, which I'm just sitting here editing. I'd love to get this video up tonight. So I'm going to do that. It's really nice to have the flexibility to not have to rush. I think I mentioned this yesterday, to not have to rush editing, uploading, like scrambling to get a video live when I want it to. I could have definitely filmed this yesterday, but I wasn't in the mood to film. And so I woke up early today and I filmed it and now I'm editing it. It's a great time to be alive. I also just got our itinerary for, I cannot say that word, itinerary, <laughs> itinerary for our trip next week. <sighs> you guys, I'm so shook. I'm shook. I'm so excited. I can't believe this is my life. I really can't. Also, I'm wearing my cute little beach cover up. It's not super long on me to be perfectly honest. I am 5 foot 11 so I wasn't expecting it to cover my hoo ha. It definitely, I mean it does. I think when I've got my bathers on it's it's gonna be perfect but it's also just cute to wear as a, a shirt. I'm kind of vibing it. Anyway I'm gonna get back to editing so I can get this video up. Uh, it is currently 2 30 and I probably have maybe 20 minutes of footage to edit through. I tend to talk a lot when it comes to my monthly resets and then I sit down to edit them and I'm like hmm I wish I hadn't spoken so much. <laughs> I just got probably one of the biggest packages I've ever received. For some reason I was expecting them to deliver it, like as is. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's how it works. Yeah. That's how it travels, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Also, sorry if you can hear Nick in the background having a Ment TV. His computer is not participating on this beautiful Friday. It's just been a week of packages for me. Oh, she's nice. Oh, it's actually quite light for how big it is. Oh, that's nice. Does it come with like the bottle? Um, yeah, it does. Since I'm going to be doing so much traveling and we have a US trip coming up, I decided to finally invest in a suitcase. I've been using my mum and dad's like turquoise suitcase for ages now. This was on sale at the Iconic and I also had a voucher. So I think it only worked out to be like $120, which for a big bad boy suitcase like this, this is the largest size, I think. Well, it says medium. Oh no, it is large. Originally 250, got it for 120. We love a deal. It's a brand near, which I think they also sell at Strand Bags. 
I got it in the dove color, which maybe I'll live to regret because it's probably going to get lots of nicks on it, but it looks pretty for now. It's quite light for how big it is. Oh, she is sexy. Wow. Love. Ready to hop on a plane at LAX with my dreams and my car. <laughs> Hi, chicken. Hi, chicken. Your mommy's going to leave you for a whole week. Yeah. <laughs> I just got off a briefing call about our trip next week, uh, which I feel like I'm being so annoying about it in this vlog, this elusive trip that I'm going on. I would love to know in the comments what your guesses are. I feel like I've given nothing away, except it's hot, it's tropical, and it is international, which is so exciting. I really cannot believe this is my life. Like, this has been a very pinch me experience. And the fact that I get to bring my best friend along with me, I can't wait. This is like something we will look back on in 20, 30 years to come and be like, wow, as if we did that, as if we did that. My mum's just calling me. One moment. It is Sunday, which means it's Erin's day. Yesterday I had such a no bones day. I went and got a spray tan. That was literally the highlight of my day. And then I just chilled out, marinated in my spray tan for the rest of the day. We did go see Anyone But You at the movies. Finally, I've heard so many good things about it. It was actually so good. I just love a good rom-com. Something feel good, light. I feel like this is the start of the resurgence of rom-coms. Anyway, we just went to the shops, ran some errands. I had to pick up some stuff for next week. I got some of the Jergens Natural Glow Firming Daily Moisturizer just to keep my spray tan nice and fresh. I got some SPF 50 plus sunscreen, some dry shampoo because I was running out tampons because I'm about to get my period, some simple makeup wipes, some insect repellent. <laughs> I also went to Target and Cotton On. I got this hat. I don't have any like good neutral hats. I just have my black New York Yankees one. So I got this one just says CA for California. We will be going to California very shortly. And then I got this t-shirt. It's like an oversized tee. It says Rose Bay which I'm not actually sure what that is. And I'm hoping no one asks if I've been there or where it is exactly. I'll have to do some research. I just liked it. I like the fit as well. It's like nice oversized. The material as well is quite thick and it's not printed on, it's stitched on, which I love because it lasts so much better. Also stocked up on some Bondi Sands fake tan because I was running low. I got this cutie little bag. I needed a new carry-on bag, so I picked this up from Target. We actually stopped to get a coffee and a juice from Ergo, and the lady that was serving us asked where this was from because she's been on the lookout for something similar. Literally $35 from Target. Stunning. It also comes with a big strap, so it'll be perfect for travel. Could also use it as a beach bag. Love. And then I picked up a new swimsuit. It is really hard for me to find good fitting swimwear as like a five foot eleven girly with big <laughs> boobs i'm like i'm like a 12g to put it in context um <laughs> so it is hard oh hello so i tried this one and i really liked it and it was only 30 dollars, which i feel like is really good for that's, that's very good value did you like it yeah very much <laughs> very much <laughs> nick just went to audi to get some mixed berries and banana <laughs> we ran out and we need our banana berry smoothie anyway that is my haul little car haul we're gonna head home might stop at the car wash on the way and then we have some cleaning to do i need a pack just all of the things Monday. I thought I'd continue this vlog on through today because I started this a little bit late last week and truthfully just for like continuity purposes we leave for Sydney tonight. We have one night in Sydney and then we leave for our trip tomorrow so I thought I would carry this on through today and then pick up the camera again tomorrow when we leave. But yeah it's been a productive morning. I really tried to make an effort to 
keep a consistent routine. Today actually marks my first official week of being fully self-employed, which is crazy. I still feel like I'm in a fever dream, like I'm going to wake up tomorrow and have to go into the office. It does not feel real and I don't think it will feel real for a long time. Um, but it's been nice because I've worked part time at my last job. So I always had two days where I had to kind of run my own thing, maintain a routine and like keep on track with everything and like self motivate. Uh, so I've had a taste of it. It's almost like that transition. And now that I'm doing it full time, I'm kind of just continuing on with how I've done those two days, but like every day. Um, so I'm trying to yeah keep a consistent routine. That's like a big thing. It's like this fine line between wanting to be flexible and wanting to have the balance, not being too rigid with my routine, because one of the perks of this job is that flexibility in your schedule, like the freedom that comes with that, but also not falling into any bad habits and staying self-motivated and having some kind of structure to my day. It does help that Nick works from home most of the time and he works like a regular nine to five job. So I've just been kind of following his schedule we also have a dog. She's an early riser and I'm also just naturally an early riser. So we've just been sticking with our normal like 6, 6.30, wake up, go to the beach, go for a morning walk, have our coffee, do our three gratefuls. I think having that morning routine to really center me and really set up my day, that's really important. That's something I'm really trying to be conscious of. I've been really lucky that I've had a very busy last week. So I haven't really had time to think about anything. Um, but yeah, I've tried to clean up our room because I feel like I can't concentrate when there's a mess around, but it, there's some work to be done. So I'm going to clean, tidy. I'm going to go grocery shopping as well because I need to cook dinner tonight, shovel down some dinner before I leave. And obviously Nick needs some food for the week. So yeah, we're going to go to the shops, pick up some stuff and yeah, I need a pack. I always leave pack until the last minute. It's my toxic trait. <laughs> it's so off brand because I feel like everything, every other aspect of my life is so organized, but for some reason packing just like doesn't do it for me. Like it doesn't interest me. I've got spreadsheets, but the actual act of packing, like just no, not for me. But I do need to do it because we leave in like T minus five hours. Let's do it. <laughs> and here's Miss Moo Moo looking like a bride. <laughs> Whenever she gets caught behind them. she is, it reminds me of a bride. She looks like she's wearing a veil. Hi, cutie. I'm going to miss you so much. Can I see those big teeth? Oh, what lovely teeth you have and beautiful ears. We really try and um, not annoy her, but like desensitize her. So I'm always like putting my fingers in her ears, like touching her paws, rubbing her nose, her mouth and stuff. Cause obviously one day we'll have kids hopefully. So we want her to be used to grabbing. Not that I would condone that, but you just never know. You need a little brush, love. Got tangles in your comb over. Thank you. Yeah. Here's a little grocery haul for you guys. This is probably the saddest, smallest grocery shop ever, but it's just gonna be Nick for most of the week. So got some raspberries, some straws, pork mints, beef mints, eggs, some milk for coffees. We've got stir fry mix for dinner tonight. Lettuce, mixed berries for our smoothies. We've got some chicken breast um, schnitzels, which we love for lunches. Some soft taco kit, some popcorn, apples, some sweet chili sauce and soy sauce, air freshener, two avocados, a tomato, two tins of tuna, bananas, egg noodles, some chocolate, and then just a waterproof mascara for my trip. And that is it. Shopping for a solo man. Not completely solo. Oh, how could I forget? <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned, but my parents are off to Japan this week. So we'll be dog sitting. I obviously won't be here. <laughs> So Nick's gonna be a single father of two. Left him on his own. Summer love.